Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this problem, we are given a singly linked list. A singly linked list is a linked list where there is a single link. Like suppose one, one is pointing to three, two is pointing to three. Now, for the some information, what is doubly linked list? Doubly linked list is something like this. Okay, it has two links. Okay, so you can remember it like this. Okay, fair enough. And which has data members sorted in the ascending order? That is the first element is the smallest, then the second element is the second smallest, and the third element is the third smallest, and the last element is the largest one. Okay. So we need to construct a balanced binary search tree. So balanced binary search tree is a tree where the root nodes left is smaller than that and the right is larger than that. And it is applicable for all the roots. Like for two. The next, this one is smaller and this one is larger. This one is smaller. This one is larger. So we are given a single linked list and we need to produce a balanced binary search tree. Now there is one more thing that is mentioned that the nodes might have the same value. Like the single linked list can be like this. Okay, where one is repeated two times. Now, suppose we are given like this. So we see that it is four, two, six, one three five seven so it is valid for all this so now if we do the pre-order traversal then the output would be like this as the pre-order traversal is out of the scope of the syllabus so we won't be doing it okay fair enough now let us start discussing this problem in this problem we need to have a balanced binary search tree in a binary search tree we have the root and we have less than the root and we have the more than the root so if we want to build in this fashion then suppose when we assign the root then the, there should be enough elements on the left hand side and on the right hand side if we think about this that there should be enough elements on the left as well as right and it is sorted in the ascending order then the root would definitely be the middle element okay because less than that more than that so suppose we are given one two and three then if we take up this two and we have this side as this side and this side as this then it is enough elements on the left hand side or on the right hand side because it needs to be balanced also why balance balance means that the height difference can't be more than one so we need to balance it also. So if this balancing part is there, then there should be enough elements on this side also and this side also. So we need to balance this side. So if we want to balance both of the left and the right part on the basis of the root element, that means they, suppose this is x and this is x plus 1 or x. So we need to take up this element. So now it comes to the conclusion that we need to take up the middle element and make it, make it as a root. So now the root is decided. So it is the middle element. Now we go to the left and we go to the right part. Now if we go to the left and right part, we saw that for each of the subtree, the same property is valid. So if this would also respect that property and it is a balanced, then there should be also enough elements on this left child and right child. Just wrote it left and right child so that we can just differentiate. So it should be enough also. So if we want to be enough also, then the remaining number of elements, remaining number of elements, we would again take out the middle element. Then we would again assign the left part and the right part. Okay. So if we translate the same thing in Hindi, dekho, root jo hoga, wo hame balanced banana. Or agar balanced banana, that means height difference. More than one नहीं होना चाहिए। अगर more than one नहीं होना चाहिए और एक root assign करना है, so enough elements left side भी होना चाहिए, enough elements right side भी होना चाहिए। और more precise equal हो तो अच्छा है। अगर equal हो तो अच्छा है और equal बनाने की कोशिश करनी है, तो हम लोग middle वाला ले लेंगे, इधर भी उतना ही element बचेगा, इधर भी इतना ही element बचे। अब left और right पे जाते हैं। Left और right पे जाने से हमें समझ में आता है कि इधर भी वो सेम प्रॉपर्टी ही हम लोग रिस्पेक्ट कर रहे हैं अगर वो सेम प्रॉपर्टी हम लोग रिस्पेक्ट कर रहे हैं तो लेफ्ट और राइट right में फिर से वही चीज यूज करेंगे सो दिस इज व्हाट वी नीड टू डू सो नाउ 
to get the middle of the linked list we first need to count the number of nodes count the number of nodes then we need to iterate and find the middle so we need to iterate and find the middle then we recursively have suppose this is a suppose this is okay not a b c d i would just draw same kind of thing 1 2 3 4 and 5 or let's solve the sample test case only 6 and 7 is also good okay 6 and 7 so if we take up the middle element that is suppose this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 4 5 and 6 then 0 plus 6 divided by 2 that is 3 itself so we would take up this element and we would assign it as the root so let us just assign it as the root and we would keep drawing this now what we would do is now this part would be left one and this part would be right one okay because this side elements are small so now we would again take up this element and we would make it as the root we would take up this element that is two and we would take on this side we would take up the six itself so now we would have six now what we would do is we would take up this element and we would make it as the left that is one and we would take up this element and we would make it as the three itself so that is three then we do up six and this side that would be five itself and this side it would be seven itself fair enough now if you see four two six one three five seven it is same four two six one three five seven so this is definitely working for the sample test case and this would work if you draw out some random linked single linked list too in sorted form so now to find the middle and to find the middle and count the number of nodes and then recursively do it for this time that means we are dividing it by 2 by 2 by 2 so this is just like using the binary search binary search thing like we are breaking it taking out the middle and then we are breaking it for the left and the right part so how many times will we break we would break it for log base 2 times so now for log 2 base 2 times we would count the number of nodes get the middle count the number of nodes and get the middle so counting and so counting and getting the middle so count and get middle the time complexity of this approach is big of n fair enough because constants are ignored counting would take big of n and get middle would take again big of one big of n so big of uh, uh, so 2n constants are ignored that is big of n so now we do this for how many times log base 2 of n so now the time complexity of this approach is n log n okay fair enough can we do better than this or not yes we can do better than this so if we see suppose the given one is one two three four five six and seven then we would take up the tree that we have built so let us take up this and then paste it here so if we paste it here then we can see that if somehow we can iterate over this linked list okay iterate over this linked list and we can build up in the same form as they are appearing suppose this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five this is six and this is seven this is the better approach than this so if we want to improve over that then we need to assign the nodes in the same way as they are appearing in the single language now we need to think of this okay and this is better why because if we are just iterate on the single link list the time complexity is big o of n so if we start respecting this big o of n thing then we need to think of something now what we can do is we can first count the number of nodes in the single link list so we would first count the number of nodes okay suppose we got the count as 7 so after getting the count what we can do is we can build up the left part and we can build up the right part and then assign the root 
in the order they are appearing fair enough so now how would we build up the left part to build up the left part what we would do is suppose the size of is 7 so we would divide 7 by 2 and that would be 3 doing the integer division 3.5 but it would be 3 doing the integer division we would take up this 3 and we would say build up this left subtree then what we would do is 7 minus 1 why because we would take up the root also minus 3 how many are remaining 3 itself so what we would do is we would say that take up these all 3 and build up the right hand side and then we would take up this one and we would say use this as the root itself simple enough okay yes it is now let us start implementing this so first of all what we would do is we would first build up a function to count the number of nodes in a singly length list so we would do int because the return type would be definitely the length and we would say just the count count itself then we would pass the this one l node of head itself because this would be the counter okay now what we would do is we would simply say that if head is equals to null if head is equals to equals to null okay and then we would say return zero okay and now instead of this null thing there is a shorthand thing like this this sees that if head is not equal to null so if we do the not operation then even if it is even if it is null then only it would be evaluating now we go down instead of using a for loop what we can do is we can say that return one plus count of head this one to the next value how this is happening i will just show you how this is going on suppose we have one two and three so it is happening as suppose we are passing on the one so head is not equal to none so what we would do is we would have the answer as one plus two dash three now again two is getting passed two is again not equal to none so again that would happen is one plus one plus and this would be three why because head dot next two is pointing to three now three is also not equal to none this would be one plus one plus one plus three's next is equals to none okay now this time when it is equal to none it would return zero so one plus one plus one plus zero is equals to three and three is the answer to this that is why this is working itself fair enough now we would go down and implement the next one that is the main one so we need to return a tree node so we would write tree node okay and then we move forward as the help function fair enough then we have the l node okay pointer itself and then we have the size itself okay now as we are getting the size so if n is less than equal to 0 then what we would do is we would simply return the null value okay now we would first say that take n by 2 elements and build up the left part this is what we would do we said that so entry node star left is equals to help of head and then n by 2 now what we would do is three node star and then we would build up the true root itself then what we would do is new t node and then we would have it as the head data itself okay so we would take up the head and then we would take out the data and we would assign it to them next what we would do is we would say that please move left one okay so root so root dash left is equals to left so i would just say assign the root and then move to the left hand side this is what we would do then we would say head to move next also why we are doing that because we need to build up the right part also to build up the right part we need the right hand side so what we would do is star head is equals to star head dash next because this is a linked list 
so we would move to the next value and then root root dash right is equals to help or head because head is now moved to the next part and then n minus n by 2 because n by 2 elements are already happened and one is used for root so we would assign that and then we would return the root itself after this is done we would first have the size in size is equals to count of head itself and then we would return the help function of by pass by reference and then n itself now let us run and see if we are getting a correct output for the sample test case and yes we are getting a correct output for the sample test case then let us submit this and see if we can get an acr now now let us discuss the time complexity as the last part of this explanation so now in this this is big o of one this is building up the left part this is building up the right part okay so and this is left part. so this is left part this is right part and we are returning this and this is again big o of one so the upper bound that we have encountered is big o of n the time complexity of this approach is big o of n it is better than this that's all for today thank you and have a nice day